Welcome back to another video! Today I have some simply delectable Indian food from this place called Himalayan Doko. Also got garlic naan and you guys are gonna be like what the hell i got this thing called carrot pudding their carrot pudding they gave us a little sample last time and i was in love i was like how have i never tried this before it's so good mm -hmm. oh i didn't even say this is butter chicken which I learned that butter chicken is not even like authentically Indian. <laughs> like it's Americanized Indian food. I had no idea. Same with chicken tikka masala. So today I was looking through my journal that I normally write like TikTok ideas or ideas for YouTube in it. And I came across this list that I had created. I must have created it like around a year ago. And it's basically just like life hacks or things that I really enjoy. And since I made that list, I've had a ton of other things that I've really liked in my everyday life that I would love to talk to you guys about. Maybe I can influence you to get some of the things. or do some of them. Every time I wear this shirt, I think of my sister. She straight up thinks it's a pajama shirt every single time I wear it. In fact, I purposely bring it to visit her. So she'll be like, do you want to change out of your pajamas? Like whenever we go somewhere and I'm wearing this shirt, she's always like, you want to change? Girl, I like this shirt. I wear it all the time. <laughs> so I just think of her every time I wear it. <laughs> I mean, in her defense, it does look like a pajama shirt. Okay, I'll take one more bite and then I'll start with my list. So good. This is my little journal where I write things in. I started doing some of these last year, like Apple Pay. So easy, don't need to carry anything. It's true, I started using Apple Pay last year. First thing that is on my list is a tongue scraper. Sometimes I think that I suffer from like bad breath syndrome um, because Will's always like, your breath smells. <laughs> After Will told me that, I was like, ew, what the hell? And my sister told me that too. <laughs> I'm making my sister sound like the meanest person. So I decided to get a tongue scraper and I really like it. It makes my mouth feel very clean. And like, yes, I already brush my teeth and everything. I put in mouthwash. But something about the tongue scraper, it's just really satisfying. And I think it's been solving my issue because since I've used it, I haven't really gotten any complaints about my breath. <laughs> so if you also have the same issue, you could benefit from a tongue scraper. The next thing, again, this is on my list from last year, a stepping stool. I didn't realize how inconvenient like climbing on top of counters was for me until I got this stepping stool. Because if some of you guys don't know, I'm very short. I'm like five feet. So I can't reach most things. <laughs> so I'm really happy that I got that. Next thing, which I already mentioned, Apple Pay. I don't know why I never used Apple Pay before. I just thought I would spend too much money. 
but I don't. And it's super convenient. Okay, those three things are probably things that like you guys already have or do. Like I feel like most people have stepping stools. <laughs> And most people use Apple Pay. Now going on my list from this year, the things that I found this year that I love. The first thing that I'll say is CMOS gel. I found out about CMOS gel from my pole instructor and good friend, Deja. Um, she sells it at her store in Washington, D.C., the Omni Collection. And I really think that, I mean, my mood is already like good on the daily I would say but I have trouble getting up in the morning because I'm lazy and I just love my bed but it doesn't matter what time I go to bed taking the CMOS the day before I'm up at like seven the next day and it's every time also I haven't felt this yet just because I don't stretch that much which I need to but Day just said that she thinks it's helped her become more flexible which is amazing. I'll get the one that I use because I really like it. It tastes like the sea. Like when I first tried it, I was like, oh, this is vile. But now I'm like, it's really not that bad. It tastes like the smell of an antique store or a very old hotel. Like it smells like the lobby. I just take like one tablespoon a day I don't do it every day because I think like everything in moderation is super important. And also because it has around like a hundred vitamins and minerals. I don't know if that's accurate, but it has a ton of vitamins and minerals that you need throughout the day. Um, so sometimes if I eat a lot of vegetables that day, I don't need the sea moss. So I'll always wait um, to take my sea moss at the endish of the day. Because if I take the sea moss in the morning and then I consume all these vitamins and minerals um, throughout the day, I don't really need the sea moss gel, you know? But yeah, highly recommend. Let me go get it. It's true sea moss. I really like this one. It's the elderberry flavor. I was just using the regular one before, but flavored sea moss gel is definitely better. Mm. Look at that. Mm. It tastes like the carrots you get on Thanksgiving. Like honey glazed carrots. It is so good. <laughs> I need to know how they make this. The last time I went here, I was with Alex and they were like, do you want a sample of carrot pudding? And at first we were like, what? And then we tried it and we were like, this is the best thing we've ever eaten. Another life hack, carrot pudding. This next item is actually my favorite thing ever, jojoba oil. It is so good. I get the Desert Essence brand, but I really don't think it matters what brand you get. Growing up, my dad, he still is the king of jojoba oil. But me and my sisters would always make fun of him. Like, he would always come to us being like, girls, I gotta tell you, the best thing for your hair and your skin is jojoba oil. And we were always like, dad, like, relax. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> He was always stocked with jojoba oil, but we just always made fun of him for it because he was so obsessed with it. But let me tell you, I went to visit him in Florida and one day I was just like looking at his skin. My dad is 76 and he looks amazing. His skin is perfect. This man has like, I do not condone this. I always wear sunscreen, but my dad like, never wear sunscreen and he has never worn sunscreen and I think the one thing that protected his skin was the jojoba oil 
I used to not wear sunscreen either. It's really bad. And I think it's because I grew up with my dad because he would never wear sunscreen. So me and my sisters never wore it either. But now we wear it all the time. I've been putting on jojoba oil all over my body before bed. <laughs> I literally like smell like grease before bed. It's so... <laughs> One time Will like accidentally saw me putting on my jojoba oil and he was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> but I'm telling you, I put it on my face, my body, my hair. I've never looked better. You guys are gonna be like, you look the same. <laughs> but try it. I used to have really bad bumps on my arms Like, I always had, like, random permanent goosebumps. And since I started the whole oil, they're gone! They're gone! You guys have to try it! I love this video, just talking about things that I love. Maybe in the next video, I'll talk about things that I absolutely despise. Next thing, energy gummies! I used to drink Celsius obsessively. I would drink it before a workout. I would drink it as soon as I woke up and I would drink coffee. So way too much caffeine for one little gal. And there was a time where I was consuming so much caffeine that at random times I would just throw up. So I was like, okay, no more of this. That's why I don't drink Celsius anymore. I was too obsessed with it that I feel like if I start drinking it again, I'm going to go back to it until I found energy gummies. This is like an ad. I got them from Amazon. I got a pack of like 30 before our Iceland trip for our big hike. And I use them all the time now because you have to take, I think, eight in order to get a certain amount of caffeine. But even still, it won't be too much caffeine. It's like just enough. Like I'll take three before a workout and I'll feel energetic. I can't even imagine taking eight, but there's still, even if you were to take eight, there's like still not that much caffeine. Like in one Celsius, there's 200 grams of caffeine. Like that's a lot of caffeine. Where'd my napkin go? So I really like these energy gummies and they taste really good. I like the strawberry flavor, um, but they kept me alert throughout my hike in Iceland. So you guys gotta try it, I'm telling you. And they're like healthy. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Highly recommend caffeine gummies. Not caffeine gummies, energy gummies. I took ca a caffeine pill one time and it, it was the worst experience of my life. Caffeine pills are horrid. Okay, my next thing, to-do lists. I'm obsessed. I don't know how I've gone my entire life without creating to-do lists, but I'll never go back. This explains why I'm the most unorganized person in the world because I would never write down what I had to do, even going to the supermarket and knowing what I had to get, I would forget. It's even with little things. If I need to buy something, I'll write it down. I love it. And the to-do list that I use has little like water icons that you fill in and it helps you track how much water you're drinking during the day. You guys, I'm like, hey, life has been pretty good for me because of these items. People on TikTok were like, you are, you're eating Indian food wrong. But what am I doing? Somebody advise. Okay. <laughs> I wish you guys could see my desk after filming these videos. <laughs> It's so bad. Okay, next item, Ariana Grande's perfume. Now she has a lot, so it's this one. The one that looks like this. It smells so good. And every time I wear it, I get so many compliments. <laughs> when I went into Ulta, I did not realize that Ariana Grande had like a million perfumes. Get that bag, queen. Oh, next thing is the Starbucks vanilla cold foam. It wouldn't be a video if I didn't 
abruptly burp. Okay, I feel like she's gonna come in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> but what did I just say? Starbucks vanilla cold foam. Oh, I was coming back from Ocean City with my friend Christina and we stopped at a Starbucks and I was about to get my usual, the brown sugar shaken espresso. All of a sudden, Christina gets a Dopio espresso with the sweet vanilla cold foam. And I said, I want that. <laughs> and I'm glad I did. It is so good. It's like, I could just have the vanilla cold foam. It tastes like a milkshake. And I get so excited whenever the barista gives me, like tops it off with the vanilla cold foam. They're like, sorry, this is so much. I'm like, why are you apologizing, babe? This is the best thing ever. So yeah, if you like milkshakes or like, creamy stuff if you like dairy you would like the vanilla cold foam it's so good and then if you mix it in like oh i love taking a first sip of it oh and you just get a whiff of the cold foam it's not a whiff you get a taste of the cold foam and then it starts mixing in with the espresso and it gets like mildly sweet oh it's so good I just talked about how caffeine is horrible and now I'm like, get this. I guess this life hack doesn't really apply to like, everyone in the world. But not filming content when I'm not in the mood. I'm getting a lot better at that. Now, actually, I don't do it at all. If I'm not in the mood to film, I won't film. A few years ago, I would always film. Doesn't matter how I felt, if I was really sad. A friend of mine actually passed away two years ago and guess what? I think, I think I made one TikTok being like, today was a rough day, but then I was like, hey, we moving on, hey. Babe, I was not well. I fully like cried after making that video. And I was thinking about this the other day because I was, just, I was just in a weird mood. I didn't know what was going on with me. I was like, oh, like, I don't want to talk to anyone. I just want to lay in bed for the whole day. And I felt guilty for not posting. And then I was like, you know what? It would be worse if I, filmed when I wasn't feeling like I wanted to film. You know what I mean? Because then you're just being inauthentic. You're being inauthentic to yourself and you're being inauthentic to your audience. So now, I just don't film and I don't want to. And I love that. I love that for me. Okay, another thing is packing light when I travel. All of the TikToks I see of people getting their luggage lost, babe, that's never me. There was actually a really traumatic time. I was coming back from my family's place in Alabama. This was a very long time ago. And yes, my family lives in Alabama. I know that's so random, but they moved from Brooklyn. Anyway, so we were coming back. I honestly don't remember the details. Basically, the airline lost our luggage and we needed to stay in the airport that night for some reason, I don't really remember. So my dad was like, oh, let's go to a hotel. We go to the closest hotel. We have none of our stuff. And the hotel literally, it was like Bates Motel. It felt like it was haunted. So ever since that experience, I always just, bring everything in a little carry-on. And it's just easier to get around places. I saw this one person who traveled to Positano and they had these like three huge suitcases and they were like throwing them down all the steps, babe. Honestly, that was, it was annoying enough for me when I only had my carry-on. I can't even imagine three big suitcases like that. My theory is I travel light on the way there and then on the way back, I have to like stuff, stuff everything into my suitcase because I always buy things there. So no, I'm not great at packing light, but I do it anyway. I don't care if I have to stuff clothes into my shirt. And I've been doing this thing where I check in online. I used to always check in at the kiosks that they had, but they always have representatives from the airline over there to see if your carry-on is actually overweight. And then you have to pay for it to be checked. And that's happened to me so many times. So now 
I'll check in online. And then if I get to the gate and they're like, oh, this has to go underneath the plane, they won't charge me. You guys have to do that. I'm telling you. Okay, I'm getting a little full. Mm. Those are all of the items slash things that I've been doing, using to make me a happier person. And I just wanted to share them with you. Let me know if you liked this kind of video. Love you guys. See you next time.